the um, Pasuk in the end of Parsha's B'Shalach. A very interesting Pasuk. The Pasuk in Perak Yud Zion. Pasuk Zion. The Torah says like this. Vayikra Shem HaMokam Masim Riva Al Kain Al Riva B'nai Yisrael. The place was called Masim Riva on the fact that the Jewish people were in strife there. Val Nisosim as Hashem Lamor. They tested Hashem to say, Hayesh Hashem Bekirbenu Imayim. Is Hashem with us or not? And this Pasuk is quite uh, is quite baffling, as the Zohar points out. Hare, the Jewish people had just went through ten Makos in Mitzrayim. And as well, they had been across the sea, Kriyas Yamsuf, right? And they had seen the Shechina quite clearly. So Zohar and Bashalach, Parsh Daf Samach Dalad Amad Beis, asks, were they tipshim? Were these guys crazy? Could they really say that Hashem wasn't with them after seeing Hashem so clearly? Biki tipshim hai Yisrael? Zolo yada milada. Are the Jewish people really claims? Vahai chamu shechina kamayim. They saw the shechina in front of them. Vahanei kavod alayu. Right? And the anei kavod. Right? How could they ask if Hashem b'kebein and I? So it says the Zohar, a very deep idea. Like this. Hochi kam Rav Shimon. This is what Rav Shimon Bar Yochai said. Boy laminda bein atika stima to call stima dikra ayin Uber zen ampin Dikra Hashem. Right? We can see from here the difference between Zer Anpin, which is called Hashem, and between the highest of all the Anhagas, of all the um, Partsufim, of all of the ways that Hashem deals with the world, which is called Atik, Atik, Atik Yom. Steam in the call Steam. It's completely blocked off and hidden from the human understanding. It's something which is so high, we have no capacity of fathoming it, right? Zer Anpin, right? Zer Anpin, which is the um, parts of, which is the, uh, which is the guide which controls the world, which is the methodology, as it were, that Hashem controls the physical world with, right? Which is seven spheres, from Chesed and Tomachus. So this is something which we can connect to. Right? This is the physical world. These are the attributes that run the physical world. But Atik is so high, it's not possible for a human being to fathom this. The steam of the Kol Stima. Baldoa, lo kishiv hayesh Hashem v'kirbenim im lo. It doesn't say, is Shem Havai, is Hashem with us or not? Is Hashem Rekebeinu or is it Ayin? Right? Which way is Hashem dealing with us? Is Hashem dealing with us with Zer Anpin, which is Teva, or is dealing with us with Ayin, which is above Teva, which is the highest realms and uh, and capacity that this world can have connection to. Now, I want to share with you a very powerful idea tonight, tonight this morning. The name Hashem Havaya, right, is the main way we connect to Hashem. And the Nishem Havaya Yudke Vavke, right, we're not allowed to pronounce it. Only here in the base of Migdash, Bazar Hashem should be built quickly, and then the Kohanim are allowed to say it. The Kohen Gadol and Anyan Kippur and the Kohanim. Um, when they were duchening, they would say it. Right? We say in this world, as the Gemara Sachim says, Lo Not like I'm written, am I pronounced. We say in this world, Adni, Alef Dal Nunyun, which means my master, which is how we manifest ourselves, how we manifest our relationship to Hashem with the name of Havai, of Yudke Vavke. That's, that's Adni, he's our master. Everything he says to do, we'll do. That's the way it works with a master, a slave to a master. 
That is the relationship of Hashem with Yudke Vavke Havaya, right? It's a name. A slave knows his master. He knows to call him his name. If his master's name is Fred, then he calls him Fred if he's allowed to, or he calls him master. Right? He has a name. And Hashem also has let us know his names. His name, Yudke Vavke, his name, Svakos, Shakai, Elokim, Elokeinu. All these names, we can relate to Hashem through names. But there's an Haga. There's, there's a, a concept and a methodology that is so high that there's no name. And that's what the Zohar is saying. That's Ayin. It's no name. Ayin means nothing. There is nothing. We can't, we can't, can, we can't relate to this because it's Ayin. There is no name which is capable of grasping and fathoming that's such a high anaka. But and this is a very, very important but, right? The Svarma Kadeshim, especially the Zohar says, yeah, the Zohar says that by Kriyas Yamsuf, Atika, but Atika Talim also. When Kalai Yisro was standing by the Yam, and there were Mitzrim on one side, and there were snakes and scorpions, there were Egyptian army on one side, and snakes and scorpions on the other side, and, and, and the water on the other side, right? There was nowhere to go. And Kalai Yisrael came to the recognition that in such a situation, there's absolutely no hope, nothing, only to turn to Hashem. In the physical world, the world is your aunt and the world is shame of I, there's nothing to turn to, nothing at all. In such a case, if a person has complete and total faith in Hashem, ain od malvado, and this is what the Nefesh Chaim says, Paragimel, the end of Paragimel, Ashar Gimel, he says, if a person is able, and the Gemara in Chulan, Dav Zayin, and Beis, it says, if a person is able to come to this clear, complete clarity and recognition that Me'ayin Yavo Ezri, from this very, very high and Haga called Atik, yeah, which is just, there's no physical world, nothing, right? When someone has the hands of robbers around his neck and his face uh, pushed into the sand, like I did in Rio de Janeiro, right? And suddenly... Hashem did him great kindness to me, and he put this idea into my head. He shoved it into my brain for a few seconds, yeah, so that I should be able to be speaking to you today, yeah. When a person comes to that with clarity and recognition of me, I Bo Ezri, there's absolutely nothing in the physical world that can help him. He comes to that complete clarity. Everything is eliminated. I am, right? There's no name. The name is that there is no name. It's such a high recognition that nothing. But perhaps it is a name because Ayin represents that there is nothing in the world that can help him. Ayin. Hashish Hashem Bikmanim and Ayin. When a person comes to the recognition that there's nothing in the world that can help him. Zero. Not his parents, not his not his spouse, not his children, not even Biden or Bibi. None of these people. None of these people can help you. Only the Bari Olam. He is the only one who could help you at that moment. And this was the Madrega that Klai Yisrael reached at Kriyas Yamsuf. Right? And this is Madrega that they reached at Kriyas Yamsuf. Right? And this is the Madrega that um, they were in doubt about afterwards. And that's why they got attacked by Amalek. Hayesh Hashem B'Kebenu and Ayim. The Klai Yisrael, in the Matzah, after Kriyas Yamsuf, they were meant to be on the level of Ayim. And if they had been on the level of Ayin, and this is in fact how they won the battle with Amalek, by coming to the level of Ayin, by attaching themselves to Atik. When a person does that, yeah, when he realizes there's nothing in the world that can help him, and he realizes that he's, there's only one Anaga, which is so high, he can't even say the words. The, in the physical world, the Dibur of speaking, there's no way even to connect to Hashem in that way. There's no words that you could say. Yeah. You could say, tell him, and say, may I need of Ezri. And that is where it will come. Yeah, But that has to bring you to a clear intellectual perception that there's only one source of help and salvation. And this is, if you are like uh, myself, who are in need of great salvation often, yeah, then this is the goal. The goal is me I in Yavo Ezri. Say Kof Chafalev. Say the Pasuk very, very well. Say the capital very, very well, and allow yourself to be elevated to a point where me Yavo Ezri. Yeah, as the Nefesh says, try to reach absolute clarity that there is nothing else that can help you. Only Hashem.
And says Nefesh Chaim, when you come to that level and you're nisdabek to Hashem, and to, well, not to Hashem, I should say, it means nisdabek to the level of Ayin, the Ayin Yavo Ezri, then there is some chance that there will be hope. I just want to finish off with a very, very powerful idea here from the Imre Emes on this, on this, on this parsha, on this pasuk. He says like this. He brings a Zohar, right, that we just quoted. <coughs> and he said, Hey, my adore day. Hey, my Esrichen Lispol, this Gabra al Kolnisyonis. Ke Lahachen over Adores Shal Arakach. Right? The door that left Mitzrayim, the generation left Mitzrayim, and saw Kriyas Yamsev, and they ate the mud, right? They were prototypes, as it were. They were a, um, they were, they set the standard. They elevated the Nishamas to a point where they could come to the recognition of Ayin, and we are their descendants, we as their descendants are able now to reach this wondering. So let's all of us who are dealing with difficult, difficult, difficult missionos, let's all try and get this clarity, come to this level of Me'ayin Yavo, Ezri, and if we hit it, then you'll know, because you'll see it very quickly, results, and we should all be zoche to Yeshua Gedela, and to Haya, that we should reach this level of Ayin, and this level of very great closeness to Hashem, Amen, Cain, T.A., Ratzah.